Hello and welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on what is called a shutter card. Now, look, I think the first time I ever saw this was a long time ago and it was done by uh, Sam Calcott. So I've had a go at it and let's see how we go. So we'll take the belly band off and when we open it up, It's like a little camera. <laughs> Very clever. So let's see how we go making it. Hopefully I don't muck it up. <laughs> let's see. Alrighty, so to start off with, we have the base card, which is 10 inches by 7 inches, or 25.5 centimetres by 17.7 centimetres. And then it's been scored in two places. So it's been scored at two and a half inches and again two and a half inches the other end. So you get two little folds on it and they will fold over to meet into the centre. So that's that one. So put it in your scoreboard, do it two and a half inches and rotate it and then do the other two and a half inches. So that's the base. Now we've got, if I go back to this one. So now we've got these parts here. So there's four of those. So I've got little reindeer ones that I'm going to be using and they are six and five eighths by two and one eighths of an inch or 17 by 5.5 centimetres. Then this part, this is going to get attached to the back of the card in the centre. And this piece is four and five eighths by six and five eighths of an inch, or 11.8 by 16.8 centimetres. So that will go there. Now this next part is this piece here that will sit in the centre. So the base part is seven by three and five eighths of an inch or 17.7 by 9.3 centimetres. So that's going to go there. And then this piece over the top is six and five eighths by three and a quarter inches or 16.8 by 8.3 centimeters. Now this shutter part here, so this is this part here that's opening and closing under the circle. So you need two pieces and they are um, let me see now, they are four inches by three and one eighths of an inch. So in centimetres, that's 10 centimetres by 7.8 centimetres. Now with this one, you need to measure from the left hand side, you need to measure in two and three eighths of an inch, which is uh, six point three centimeters, and it needs to be in the center, so it's one and a half inches from the top, or four centimeters. So it's about there, and put a dot in there, and from there, you cut from that corner to that little dot. Now, you can have them like that, or what I've done is I've actually curved mine a little bit, so they've got a little bit of a curve. So you can curve it like mine, or you can leave them straight. And then on the left hand side, score it 
at one, uh, sorry, at five eighths of an inch. So that will be scored there. So you're left with a little tab like that. So you do two of those, okay, because they will then join together and they will open and close to be the shutter. Then there is your piece to go behind the window. So you'll measure that to suit whatever size circle you cut there. And on the back of the card, so that's this where I've got my greeting here. So this will go on the back of the card. So this one is five by four inches, but you can do it to suit the size that you like. So you can have it bigger or smaller. And then we've got a belly band. Now, where did I put the belly band? Oh, I can't find it there. So this is the belly band, which is 11 inches by one and a half inches or 27 by 3.5 centimetres. And then we've got this piece here. So this is going to go over the centre of the belly band. Okay, here's the other one. So that will be on the front of the belly band like that. And then we've got this little circle here. So that's this part here. So there's been two circles to cut that one out. So there's a oh, two and three eighths of an inch circle and a three inch circle. So you just put them together to cut them out. All right, so that's all the pieces. So let's see how we go putting it all together. So to start off with, we will put this in the center there and these two pieces here. And then these two will go on the front. So we'll just do these first. So I'm just using turbo tacky glue so I'll just pop that together I was actually going to have all this sort of most of it done earlier but then a lot of people have said that they prefer to see it being done rather than having a lot of it prepared so hopefully we don't drag it on too long Okay, so this part will go here. Just try and make sure you get a bit of an even border around it all. And this one goes in the centre. A lot of people prefer to use tape. I just find it glues a bit quicker. Okay, so I'll just pop that in the middle. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach these two together and then that'll be put through the die machine to make the hole for the picture to go behind. So we'll pop that into place there. And then using a circle die place it where you want it to go and run that through the die cutting machine but here is one that i did do a bit earlier to save a bit of time so now that's cut out that circle there and that will get attached to the front there so what i've done i'll put some tape on here ready for that to go so we'll just pull the bits of tape apart off the backing tape and place that in the center there. Like that. So just when you're attaching this, make sure you don't have the tape too close to like where your shutter part will go otherwise it will stop it so you need to make sure that you've got room for these to go in here okay so now we can put 
So this is where I'm going to put the number 25 in there. So that's about where I want it. So we'll just pop some glue on the back. So you can put anything you like in here. I just happen to have this one handy. So I'll just sit that down. Here we go, and we give that a good press. Make sure it's all in place. What I'm going to do now is put these pieces on the front. So I'll give that glue a chance to dry before I put the shutter parts on. Just while I'm doing this, I do have a Facebook page called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. And I also have another one called um, Barossa Valley Crafts. So I'll add the links to those groups in the um, description so you can join if you like. And I'll put this one on the back. And... There we like to share all our creations that we make. It, it's not just what I do here, and we're not limited to brands. We like all sorts of crafts. So you can share what you've seen from my tutorials or whatever else you have made with like-minded people. Okay, so that's that done. Now... We're going to fold these tabs over. I'll just burnish them to make sure they're well creased. And this one. So these are going to get attached under here. Okay, so. Now to do that, we need some double-sided tape. I'll just grab some of that. And I'll put that on the tabs. Again, you could use glue, but I think it needs to be really strong and you want to make sure it's sticking quickly for this part. That's why I'm using the tape here as well. So, Okay. So now I'm going to put this under here. We're going to flip that over and lining up, making sure this part here lines up with the fold on your card. So I'll pull that backing tape off and pop that back under here. And make sure that's going to line up properly. And just push that into place. Oh, the other part just dropped in the bin. And this one. So when you're doing it, have them say that you've got they overlap a bit. So you've got one at the top and one at the bottom, if that makes sense. Okay, so do the same on this side. So flip that back. And touch that in place. Again, 
making sure you've got one at the top and one at the bottom so they overlap. Okay, maybe if we do it like this might be the better way. Oops. Okay. Now press that into place. Now yeah, that should open up like that. How's that? Isn't that very clever? <laughs> so that's that part. Now I've got this little gold piece here. So that's going to sit over here. So we'll just pop a bit of glue on there. Try not to get it too close to the edge, otherwise it'll ooze out everywhere. You can, if you want to, you could add all sorts of decorations on the inside. I didn't want to put too much. Oops. Glue there. Now, I've actually got a little bit of glue on that foil card. But I do have this amazing little thing. It's like a, an eraser. It's a, called a glue eraser and it will actually, when that's dry, I'll go over with that with the glue eraser and it will remove the glue that's on there. Alrighty, so that's that. Now the belly band. So pop your card over the belly band and then fold it so that it's the right size to suit making sure that it's not too tight, otherwise you won't be able to slide it. So that's about it there. So we'll just get a bit of bit of sided tape. Just looking for my thinner one there, here it is. I'll just use this one because it's a bit thinner. There we go. I'll just pop that on the end here. Again, you could use glue here if you wanted to. I'll put a couple of strips on. Hopefully, it'll make sure it sticks properly then. Easy done. And we'll pull the backing off. into place and then we'll put this on the front here so I'll just put a couple of strips of double-sided tape on here Camera there, I'm sorry about that. There you go, I'll just a couple of bits of tape. Peel that off and stick that into place. There we go, and that's finished. So, reasonably easy to do. So we slide the belly band off and obviously your greeting on the back to who it's from and to. And there it is. Isn't that easy? <laughs> and it's so effective. Here we go. I hope you've enjoyed that and if you have, please do give me the thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, do subscribe to be notified when I have um, more tutorials. And thank you for joining me and um, hopefully you can come and join us in um, Facebook for the um, card making group there. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye.